ओम विष्णु भाय कृष्ण प्रसाद भूतल श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी के नाम ने नमस्ते सारस्वती देवे गौरवानी प्रचार्य ने विशेष शनिवार Shri Prabhupada, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to your lotus feet. Um, my offering will be spontaneous, whatever comes to my mind, my heart. I'll just say that. I was sitting here, I was remembering of one audio message that Shri Prabhupada, he was speaking to one disciple, I guess a group of disciples. You all know on YouTube there's this Vanipedia and Vani quotes, that website is there. So I was hearing one. Bani media, YouTube video, Shri Prabhupada talking. And this was during a time where I was having a tough time to really commit myself to steady Shri Prabhupada's books. Even mechanically, just read Prabhupada's books, one, two, three verses a day, translation, purport, whatnot. And then I came across this video <coughs> that's titled, I am laboring so hard for you. Does anybody know what I'm talking about, which video? Maybe you've heard these words of Shri Prabhupada. But it, it was very impactful because we hear from many devotees, you should really read, really read Shri Prabhupada's books, take advantage of them, you know. But maybe this has come in your mind, it's definitely come in my mind that, you know, the feeling to hear from Shri Prabhupada's words himself, you know, how would that be? And I came across this video, you know, and Shri Prabhupada, um, I'm paraphrasing some of the words are right, whatever is in my memory. Shri Prabhupada says, I am laboring so hard for you, you know, you're not reading my books, and what can I do? Prabhupada says this, don't take advantage of eating and sleeping, take advantage of these books! <laughs> this is the mood, this is the true tone that Shri Prabhupada is telling this. And when he said it with such vigor, such meaning, such power, it really hit me. You know, even during Prabhupada's time, you know, we, we never hear of maybe Shri Prabhupada's disciples having a hard time to read and not, you know, studying Prabhupada's books because that time Murli Valak Prabhu knows, you know, a lot of the, the, most of the disciples were living in the temple, they were part of the morning program, part of the schedule, Harinam Sankirtan book distribution. You know, but to hear from Shri Prabhupada that directly his voice, a third generation, coming in his line that, you know, why, what are you doing? Take advantage of my books. You know, what Prabhupada, I was, I was just talking to one of my friends, you know, trying to convince him to come today. And I was like, you know, you try writing this one Bhakti Vedanta purport. Take the smallest purport of Srila Prabhupada and just try to write that just with your own heart, based on whatever you learn. Just try to write your own purport. Just one. Take one verse, read the translation, and don't look at Prabhupada's purport. Just try, try to write your own purport. You can be a PhD scholar. You will not be able to write a perfect purport like Srila Prabhupada. Bro, every verse of Shri Prabhupada is so perfect, so beautiful. And Prabhupada's books are written in such a way we may all have certain questions and doubts. And suddenly, this has happened to me. I literally, I'll just, you know, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare I open any random page of Bhagavad Gita and boom, the answer is there. Any question I have, you know. And Prabhupada may write one sentence, and that sentence, re that same sentence resonates with one person in a certain way based on his issue, and that same sentence resonates with me based on my issue. And Shri Prabhupada's purpose or Bhakti without the purpose, Shri Prabhupada himself said that I'm not writing these books. Krishna's dictating me, and whatever Krishna is saying, I'm writing. You know. So actually, this is Krishna's words. Directly, we're reading Krishna's words. And Shri Prabhupada, you know, he's. Senapati Bhakta, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu predicted that somebody will come to give this message of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Sri Prabhupada has given this message like Rati Vilas Mataji was saying in a very simple and practical way. Srila Bhakti Vinodhakur mentioned how, you know, during, you know, before Krishna, before Prabhupada's time, you know, he was mentioning that in other paths, other faiths, other religion, they've talked about God in the concept of a father. You know, God is like your father, you should worship him. Or, you know, God is your friend, you should, he's, he's there to help you, you know, don't worry. Or, you know, there's God and you're the servant, you should serve. And this, these types of ideas, these types of ideas of having a relationship with Krishna, with God, was given. But what Srila Prabhupada brought to us was not done ever. It was never ever done, not in any yoga and not in the, in the past, it has never been done. And that is to, hear the message of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who has come down as Krishna in the mood of Srimati Radharani. Srila Prabhupada's father himself 
said that you know I wish that my I wish that my son grows up to become a very great devotee Shrimati Radharani. And Shil Prabhupada himself has taken that mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and has given Radha Bhav the loving service of Radha and Krishna throughout the Western world. This has never ever been done before. The relationship that a soul can have with Radha and Krishna has never ever been done before. And this highest treasure of spiritual knowledge has been given by our Srila Prabhupada. And we can attain it just by following his books. Dhamma Sankirtanam Yasya Sarva Papar Panashanam. This is the last verse of Srimad Bhagavatam. By performing Nam Sankirtan, one can attain all perfection. And Narottam Das Thakur also says, Don't think that this chanting and dancing will not lead to the desired goal. It will. And then one senior dis uh, disciple of Srila Prabhupada said, because he has a lot of experience doing it, he said, If you do it, then it will. You know, if we follow the instructions and the message of Srila Prabhupada's books, if we follow that, then it will fructify the world. If we follow the standard that he's given, then it will happen. You see for yourself. And I, I see for myself and I see practical experience in my life. And for that, you know, again and again, I we I was I was chanting here and saying Jay Propa, Jay Propa, Jay Propa. You know, sometimes when you're leading Kirtan, it's like okay, I'll be careful now. Nita Goranga, Hare Krishna, do we switch the Hare Krishna to you? And do I say Jay Radhikam, you know? Let me say something else because I've been saying the same tune for such a long time. But today's Prabhupada's appearance day. What more else should I say other than Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Shri Prabhupada Ki. And what more to say more than J. Prabhupada? Doesn't matter how many times you say J. Prabhupada, you can never repay what he's done for us. We are indebted to him. So, please forgive me, Shri Prabhupada, for any offenses to your lotus feet, to your disciples, or to those aspiring to connect to the lineage of your Gaudiya disciplic succession. Please forgive me if I've offended any Vaishnava. It's not my intention to. Please forgive me if I've committed any wrongs, wrongdoings in my service to you, my Guru Maharaj, and Radha and Krishna and Gornitai. Vanchakal Patarubhyas Chakrapasana Vevacha. Patita Nam Pavanagar Vaishnava Gurmama Hare Krishna.